Hello, Glasses Games and Glory here again. Um, well actually I know it's been a very long time since I made my last video. This being my last video, um, logic makes sense. And, uh, I apologize, but I do realize that the, the majority of people listening to this don't care. Uh, so, this is gonna be like a little short episode. I'm just gonna be cracking some packs. Um, you may notice that it's 29 and not 3. Um, that's not intentionally done to annoy you. It annoys me just as much. Oh yeah, and I I don't open 10. I find it annoying because then I don't get to see the like new cards that I get. Um, ooh. It's going in my Selesnia like game deck. Nice wild card. <laughs> Cigarette of Splendor. Hmm. It's okay. It's I, I don't actually put it in my uh in that life game deck I was talking about. It's the one that you get for just existing, you know? Ooh. I could make a human tribal deck. I do have plans to do that in the future. A deck tech for human tribal. Um but that whoo, nice. Let's see. Um, depending on how you look at this, this might be... What's the word? The word is gone from my head. Pitiful, I guess? Or it could also be, um, insane. But, hey, one more Mythic Rare, I'll take it. Uh, and also Briarbridge Tracker. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, investigate as long as you can... Oh, right. This guy fits in MH2 drafts. Why is he here? Well, anyways, it's cool. I guess because Innistrad is about investigations. This isn't a draft card. I'd like to point that out. It's a good card, just I don't think it's meant for draft, because most green decks aren't going to be running stuff like that. I do have two other blade stitched scabs. Um, they're... okay. Yeah, that's going in my red green deck. My landfall deck. Actually, my landfall deck uses, um... What is it called? Um, ooh, Unnatural Moonrise. I don't have a werewolf deck. Oh yeah. Okay, I like that. Actually, I already have two of those. Um... Right, I use Snowland, so I don't think I will put in that multicolored one. Is this my first? It is my first. Jadar. Oh yeah, and I don't know if you have noticed, but like, the tags here, they change color. Jadar is actually a lot better than you think he is because he only costs 2 mana. I saw like the command zone looking at him and being like, this guy's not that special or anything. Um, and they never said he was good. Uh, and he is. <laughs> Ooh, an adversary. What does this guy do? Bless you. I think somebody sneezed. Sign go over. I think that's good for drafts. Ooh, Poppet Stitcher. I don't have the spells. Actually, I have fireworks. It's the other one that. It's another uh, pre con deck that you get from just existing. Another one of these. Recoil Creeper is somewhat more interesting. Oh, yeah, and the humans. Human Tribal here works well with Winota, but I, I recall that Winota's been banned, I think. I don't know if it's banned from Modern, or maybe just Historic. Like, I don't know if it's just, uh, MTGA. Right of Harmony, that works super well in human decks where you create a lot of humans. Another Diagraph Rebirth. Curse of Shaken Faith. Oh, it's a rare curse. Why didn't I... I didn't, like... I thought, wow, that's good. I thought it was a common, but that's okay. <laughs> Further evaluation tells me that in the formats where you're gonna have opponents casting like three spells a turn when things get out of hand, such as commander, that card's not gonna be useful because it's two damage. And in standard, I don't think you're gonna have that happen a whole lot of times. A 3-3 three, three for two mana is good here, so let's see. 
each opponent creates a white one. Okay, yeah, there's the drawback. But it still has that added on um kind of like essence steel, you know? There's a card that gives a creature that ability, I just don't know what it is. I forget what it's called. I like how the stars like spin here. I don't think they did that for the mythic rare one. That doesn't make sense though, because it's more rare. Yeah, the mythic rare wild card should look like really cool, not just like a red card. Champion of the Perished is a very good card. I don't think it's good in wild card. I don't think it's good in um, standard per se. He, uh, zombie tribal isn't the hugest thing. Oh. Ask of Grizzlebrand. That. See, I look at it and I think, Flying and Lifelink. One black black. Not that bad. Equip three. Oof. Although, it gains you life and then you can pay it back. Overall, I don't think that's a great card. Ooh, Storm the Festival. I like it. I don't think many others do, but I think it's cool. Vampire Tribal and Midnight Hunt. Okay. Oh yeah, right of Oblivion. Uh, okay. It's like good <laughs> in specific decks attached to player uh the big wait why does it say oh as it transforms that's why um they lose one life you gain one life really and then it's just a four i don't think this should be rare actually i think this should be common because most of the time you're getting a day bound night bound like, whatever it is on the front side, and then a 4-4 four, four on the back side for 3 mana. I don't think this is a rare card. Maybe I'm just wrong. Why is it? Oh, I see. Ah, Tobler's Hunt Master. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna need to make a Werewolf Tribal. I don't think I have the Kessig um, naturalist that I need to the uh, bloodline killer. Hmm, that's like anti-human tribal, essentially. <laughs> well, the human tribal that I'm thinking of. This is anti-token tribal slash single target removal that's not that good, but I can see how it would be good. Also, I can kill things without indestructible. Sorry, with indestructible, um, as if they didn't have it, so that's cool. Sigarda. Oh yeah, there are actually two angels that were printed um, as legendary angels. Nobody prays to Lisa or Lieza, I don't know how to pronounce it. But I don't think anybody does, and I find that weird. She's an angel. I don't know what her story is, but hey, she can probably save you. Oh right, this is going in human travel deck. Is this my first? Oh, I only have one. Alright. It's just a little bit of value. I guess that's good though, because you're casting your hand most of the time with human travel. It's one of the issues I found playing it, so that'll actually help round out the primal adversary. The thing is, it doesn't give those lands vigilance. So like, you pay five mana for a five four, um, and one of your lands becomes a three three, but that land is already tapped. To pay for the cost. So the only time that you can use it next turn, well, the only time you can use it is next turn, and by that point, you, uh, if you do try to attack with it, um, then it's just gonna, it, like, that's just re removing one mana from your pool, right? Your potential, because now you can only cast something, um, for five mana, unless you, like, somehow played ramp on the same last turn. That would imply that you played ramp on, like, turn four. And now, this is like a scenario that's never going to happen, and Primal Adversary is an okay card, is the gist of it. Better than most cards, sure, but it's it, 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 in the range of like, 
A to S tier, it's probably below A. You know? Rem Carolus, Stalwart Slayer. I don't I think this is also another one of the probably doesn't go in standard cards. Cause it's um the first part is good. I think it's icing to the second part though. If a spell would deal damage to an opponent or a permanent an opponent controls it deals about that much damage plus one instead. Like this is going in my Torolf deck, but it's not white. So you know. Is it going in my Torolf deck? And that just means that your shocks are now lightning bolts, and your bolts are now demon bolts, right? It, it, it's not that big of a difference at turn 3, you're not gonna be like, Yes, finally, that one damage is gonna save me, it might. But most of the time it's not going to, and this is actually a really cool card when you look at it. Those horses of candles. Uh, they, they look like undead, I think they're, it would make sense. But the candles, this is a hedge witch, or this is something else. I could see that being pretty good in the right deck. It's just you can only swim with those creatures once. Oh, yeah, so I played against a fairy once. He's pretty okay. So, notably, he does give you one more mana, he does give you pseudo vigilance, and he can stall your opponent at turn 4. The gain 2 life doesn't really mean much. Um, like, no, most decks just don't need this. And then, of course, the untap all creature, uh, all permanents you control during each, uh, each opponent's untap step, and you share their draw step. So, like, you're not gonna get to the minus 7, because you're casting him on turn 4, as opposed to casting something that could actually help you stay alive. He's not, like, he's gonna gain you life, sure. He's gonna delay your opponent, sure, but he's not gonna help you, um, as much as, like, uh... I don't know, I don't know what a good turn for play is that I can think of right now. Sunrise Cavalier. Not going in human travel because he's red unless you're running, like... Well, actually, Night Travel. This is the Night Travel card that shouldn't belong to the set, but it does because it's Day-Night. Um, and yeah, I guess it's okay. Put a lot of instants in your decks. So there, that, that was all the stuff. Here, you want to see everything that I got? Just like, all laid out. Here it is. It looks cool when I do it like this. So, if you want me to make more videos about, um, like, opening packs and stuff, um, yeah, you can say that. Um, that's what comments are for. I think. I don't know. I'm tired. Uh, this video that was supposed to be shorter than it ended up being has finally come to an end. I bet you've been waiting for this moment for about five minutes now, and it's come. Um, I would like to thank my hair no I'm kidding so uh yeah thanks for watching uh goodbye don't die don't do anything I would or would not do bye I don't mean to be rude but I kind of hate my new seat I'm next to people sitting next to me my old one was so much better sorry it's not your fault that I got replaced with another young adult.